And now I just want to show you the pull registration. But therefore, I have to sh look up shortly which file I have to open because I'm not perfectly sure about the file name. You can see if you want to open files from Pacer Research, we have an example folder. And that's very, then you land the strand up here, and you have all of the different examples. A lot of data is coming with Pacer Research, and you can play around a lot with that. So uh, you have the possibility of playing, of really analyzing all of these data sets if you like. Solutions are provided as well in the tutorial for a lot of them. But uh, if you need more solutions on our web page, you will find more. OK, um, we are now talking about ERP P300. And I think that's the right one. Yes, that's the right one. OK, good. <coughs> good, what I now have to do, um, I have to. I have to load some uh, head surface points as well. So first of all, uh, there were some digitized electrodes available. So I said browse. Here we go. Then we have a co-registration file available. No, not yet. Can we edit it? So what we now do, we generate an EEG lead field, say next. We want to select the input project, we take this one, say next. Come on, here we go. I have done it before, so I prepared everything as, mm -hmm. uh, because it will take a time as well. So what you first of all have to do, you have to set the, uh, the laser. Then the preauricular point on the left and on the right. These are the points if you if you go to your ear and you open and shut the mouth, a hole appears. And exactly there is the point. So you have to mark it there. And then select the registration file. That's this. Okay, so now the electrode set comes in. And what you can do now, you can turn the head and look at the electrodes. We can run a surface point fit. Okay, looks good. Doesn't matter if some electrodes go into the brain, uh, into the head, that's not a problem. But if you don't like it, you certainly can. You can translate it, scale the whole thing, here, you can scale the electrode cap, you can certainly do this, you can translate it, so you can move it, okay, that looks pretty nice now. You can certainly rotate it as well, something like this. It's sometimes it's necessary because uh, the electrode cap uh, was not adjusted correctly. Okay, let's say next. And what now will happen, we will run the fan computation. And what now happens is that we are generating the lead field for all of these uh, electrodes. And we will now see when the first electrode is done. Just take some seconds. The electrodes will wear and will go blue afterwards. Now, 
they're calculating everything from different electrodes. So now it went blue. Next one will come. As I said, the computer is pretty fast, so uh, it's working not too bad. And we will turn around the head all the time. Uh, we do that. Good. This you have to run through. And if you have finished this, you can then easily take the um, take this um, this uh, information into source analysis and work on the individual anatomy. Then even the pictures in the in the source analysis window will show this individual anatomy afterwards. So, okay. already. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm not sure whether I have done this really. Um, I have to look up just a second. So that's not a problem. It's not done. Mm -hmm. So we would have now to wait for around about 20 minutes to, to 30 minutes until this is finished. So uh, that will take us time. But just believe me, if you play the tutorial, you will easily see because all of this data is coming with the tutorial. So that's no problem. Um, then you can. Um, this is also shown in your uh, in the in the map you got from the from here. You go to page ninety. This is what the slide we just performed. And if you go to page ninety-eight, on the page ninety-eight, you see the source analysis window. And there's the individual anatomy on the right down side. You can see the individual anatomy, how it is used then. So uh, we import all of this information coming from the Beza MRI software, put it, into, uh, put it into the research software, and you can then localize on the individual cortex, in the individual cortex. On the individual cortex, we will calculate uh, by autumn this year. So we we'll have cortex loretta and so on in the, uh, by autumn. So this is coming up with basal sand, not like now. Okay. <coughs> just look where it's just importing the data. have had to finish it until then uh, then you would have it in the in this uh, menu where you can uh, where you can uh, choose the different head models you can then choose the individual fem model and then you see the individual anatomy of the of the brain okay good, good. questions so far I don't have yeah, MATLAB with me. Uh, can, we, can we do that on that and then yeah. refer to okay. Yeah, sure. That's, that's no problem because you can always, um, what you can always do, you can do pre-processing somewhere and store the results in the EDF file or something like this. Um, then you can read it into BASA. That's no problem. I will show you just something about BASA. That is, uh, you bring me to a good idea. 
Uh, but we have a MATLAB interface, in fact, so um, uh, we can do a lot more than just this. But I just want to show you something about PESA. And the tutorial is part of the, uh, the, the major tutorial, the big tutorial, is part of the, um, can be downloaded on the, uh, on this uh, links you can see here. So no problem. I think this link will bring you, somewhere, um, this link will bring you to our tutorial hands-on, exactly. Okay, this uh, whole thing is um, it's just giving you the information where to find something. It's not the tutorial itself. Oh, it's sort of part of the installation. But what I wanted to show you is utilities, additional readers, and the reader documentation. Because that's quite impressive. file formats we can read in are mentioned here. So you will most basically find most of the EG systems uh, you are using or you are intending to use, you can find here. So alpha trace, that's pretty common in uh, Europe, not, not here, I think. Brain M, brain, so brain products, I think that's pretty common. Then we have Compumatics, DeltaMed, Ibn Euro, EGI, uh, Ibn Euro, the new the, the old file from the, why is it the new? Uh, just a second. No, it's the old one. Grass Telefactor, uh, Euroscan, Micromat, certainly Nicolay, Neoncoden, Stellate, Exceltech. So all of the different file formats. And certainly if it comes to the energy uh, file formats, we read the most important CTF neural mechanism in Yokogawa. Uh, in fact, it's just neural mode left, and uh, CTF is not more supported. <coughs> so that's because Elector bought off all of them, and so that's it. So that's for sure you can read in uh, most of the data, and certainly if it comes to EDF, yeah, you can store it in EDF and then read it. So despite I'm uh, European, I think that's a really bad format oh, really? <laughs> uh, because you lose a lot of information. Yeah. So what we developed, we developed the so-called Bay as a new the, the format, the, the top piece of format. Oh, yeah. That's a very clever format and quite a lot of vendors are interested in using that format in the future because it uh, has an internal compression, it is a text file format, you can store everything in it, doesn't matter. You can even store video in it if you like, no problem. Uh, it has absolutely no limitation. And it is uh, the only format at the moment which is, is, uh, has the ability to store 